Why, hello, you amazing watchers, and welcome back to another video. Charlie here today to react to the third opening for Data Life. Now, season three was definitely quite the bittersweet one. Happy that Data Life was being continued. Um, happy that it had just gone through a movie and all, which absolutely loved. It made me cry a little as well. But sad that the animation student was changing. As soon as we heard JC staff was doing it, I had nice hopes for it because yeah, JC staff on top of their game are quite, quite in studio. But don't know what they were going through, what happened in the studio, but they definitely weren't on top of their game for Data Life 3 as an adaptation. You know, everything that happened. I haven't read the source material myself. I kept anime only until at least the anime finishes. Or if it just never continues, then I'll read the source material. But apparently how they jam-packed, it did feel kind of rushed, even if we, if I, all of us who hadn't read the source material, knew what was going on there. Yeah, I felt a little rushed, especially since, well, they only allocated 12 episodes to this and they were fitting in what I heard was a lot of material, I think. Don't really know how that was going, but yeah, the animation did leave quite a lot to be desired. Uh, the new, The new spirit introduced... Not my absolute favorite character out there, especially since you have such a large cast already. So introducing new ones is a little hit or miss sometimes, and definitely a miss for me. But I swear, not just as a figure of speech, the name of the song by Sweet Arms again is a banger. Sweet Arms just doesn't miss. They did an awesome job throughout all of these. I'm happy to see that they continued throughout it all. And I hope that they do. They did the fourth one. I haven't checked. And that this new fifth season brings them back again. But yeah, I swear is the name of the song, and it's a great song. So I've mumbled long enough. I'll pull up the video. Hit it. Very different style and approach to this opening because the first two are very similar. That's good. <laughs> Oh, so this is the one that started the intro it's like this. Was it? I want to remember the first one did it first, but I mean just glitching here. I love how this part has been similar over the course of three last ones. I also like what they did here with the spirits we were gonna meet. Best girl! Followed by Miku, of course. I like how they showed the past moments of Fushido meeting all the others. Ooh, those chorus hits. Yoshino's power I'm thinking don't know if it's been done later seasons I don't remember all that much but her using Yoshino as like a mecha suit becoming more of a melee fighter that'd be cool this right here was crazy for me when we first learned this Can I say it was a great song, a great opening. It was my favorite part for a lot of the third season, <laughs> which I know can be a bit bittersweet for many. We expected a lot, of course. As fans, we always do. Because it's easy. We can just expect a lot and not have to worry about any of the stuff that goes behind the scenes, which must be a lot. I don't understand any of the circumstances that may have affected this season and JC staff taking over, or why the studios changed all that much. But still, we <laughs> were able to dream. 
Ah, but aside from that, leave a like and subscribe. Those will help. And in the comments, any recommendations to openings or anything so I need to bring to the channel. Aside from that, though, Charlie signs off.